mental stress like anxiety or depression or feelings of hopelessness increase your risk of, uh, of a heart attack or a stroke or sudden cardiac death. But the link goes the other way as well. If you have a heart attack, if you've had a bypass surgery or a stent or you have heart failure, you predictably will get depressed or more anxious or hopeless. As it turns out, one of the major risk factors for heart disease is psychosocial stress. That is just that feeling of stress that we all have from time to time. It's unavoidable. It comes from caring deeply about things in life. And when they get threatened, like your health or your loved ones or your country or your community or whatever, your dog, you have a stress reaction, which motivates us to fix things. But when we have stress that we can't really act on, it tends to eventually take a toll on our heart and, of course, our mental health as well. There is a natural solution. It's called exercise. Exercise changes our hormonal profile around pretty dramatically. And yet, while you exercise, those feel-good chemicals, the dopamine and norepinephrine go, and serotonin go up. And then after exercise, those stress hormones like cortisol and, uh, and epinephrine go down so that it energizes you and brightens your mood, but it also reduces stress and anxiety and, uh, and prevents depression. It doesn't need to be Herculean efforts. You're not going for peak fitness, you're going for moderate exercise. And maybe the most important thing about your exercise is it should feel like fun. Whatever it is, you know, just get involved and it's not about winning the, you know, I mean, it's kind of fun to compete, but it's really more about going out and playing with your friends and having fun. This is a really easy and important message to deploy. And I think in our modern world, uh, it's arguably as important as anything to our future health and well-being.